Matty, fantastic to see you. Tell you what, Saturday first and foremost, opening day win, clean sheet. As far as good days at the office go, that wasn't bad. Yeah, um, it was uh, the perfect start really. Um, I think it could have been more than two. Uh, probably that's one thing that we wasn't clinical enough. Um, but other than that, I thought we dominated the game start to finish. Um, so, yeah, a positive start. So the strikers can't score in the first half. So the centre-back strides forward, spanks one in the top corner. What were you thinking when Fab was striding forward and it looked as if he was about to pull the trigger? <laughs> um, to, to be fair, I don't actually know. Um, to be fair, he, he, he's a special player. He's Technically, he's an unbelievable player. So, uh, and I've, I've seen it before where he's, he's done... Um, gone on some mazy runs and he, he scores so uh, I know he's got it in his locker um, but yeah it was an unbelievable strike and uh, that, that got things going I guess yeah pressure on him now to re replicate every single <laughs> week I would have said so we've seen Fab do it we've seen Kieran score a few free kicks already in his time at <laughs> there's pressure on you and Dan Byrne now isn't there yeah um, <laughs> yeah hopefully it won't be much longer until I get my first goal here um but yeah, uh, but Bernie probably had more chances than me, considering he's a giant and uh, <laughs> he wins pretty much every header. So uh, yeah, hopefully not, not too long until I get my first. Seriously speaking though, second debut for Newcastle United as well. How easy a decision was it to make it permanent? Yeah, I think it was pretty easy. Um, I think the loan spell couldn't have gone any better. Um, the, f the fans, the staff, the players, they, they all welcomed me with open arms. So mm -hmm. it, it made made my decision re really easy. Um, and yeah, um, t t to, to come back to Newcastle and to see where the club's actually going, it's, it's incredible. And uh, it'll be something to look back on in my career saying I, I was part of this. As soon as we realised you were up for interview, I, I knew I needed to ask this question. Did you have to do a second initiation song or not? <laughs> nah, nah, no. nah. You only need to do that once. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I didn't do a second one. <laughs> That's good to know. That's yeah. good to know. I suppose, as well, just thinking back to the Arsenal game towards the end of last season, when someone like Bruno Guimaraes in interrupts your interview <laughs> and says you must stay, you really have to, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, when Bruno speaks, you listen. <laughs> but no, nah, he's an unbelievable player. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good lad around the dressing room too. So uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have a player of his calibre here. How does it feel or how does being a permanent player here at Newcastle compare to your loan spell at Newcastle? Um, to, to be fair, I, didn't really, I don't really look at it as uh, it being any different. Mm. Um, Obviously, the boys are still the same, a few new signings. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've settled in so quickly and I'm enjoying my time here. So, uh, yeah, everything is, is, is easy, yeah. One of those new signings, Nick Pope, said, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, that he can't imagine any better team for an England international to sign for than Newcastle United right now. Why is that, do you think? Um, just where the club's going, um, the project of the club and... Uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the potential this club has is is incredible. Um, so I think looking on the outset, I think players would would want to be a part of that. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's the reason why. You've been at Southampton. You've been at Villa. What makes Newcastle as a club different, as a city different as well? I think just as a city, it's it's the only club here. So uh, it's it's football mad um, when you go out um, you get stopped all the time so uh, yeah I think I think um, that's that's probably the big difference um, and just just the size of it uh, it's a massive club and uh, the fan base um, so yeah I think probably that that's the difference I was gonna say have you had many experiences going out into town not on nights out necessarily <laughs> but going into restaurants or anything and any experiences with fans so far I know John Joe last season was talking about how he's kind of encountered fans dropping his dad off in town and things like that <laughs> what about you nah yeah like every time you go out to like restaurants and that uh you get you get stopped you get noticed um so 
uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. And um, yeah, like I said, it's a football mad city. And that's kind of even just outside of the ground, inside the ground. How on earth would you describe the atmosphere at St. James as the, the war flags displays and the impact that they have on a player? Yeah, it's incredible. Um, the atmosphere is, is, is amazing. Um, it's, it's, it helps the players out for sure. Um, just a massive boost. You, you, you live off the energy of the crowd. So, uh, yeah, they, they give us uh, a, another set of lungs pretty much. Um, they, they make us fight for every ball. Um, so, yeah, uh, can't really thank them enough and we can't really describe how important they are. And uh, especially this season, we want to make uh, St. James, St. James's Park a, a fortress. And it's the atmosphere amongst the squad as well. It seems to be a real special atmosphere in that dressing room right now. Why do you think that is? Um, ooh, probably, probably the manager coming in last season. I think he's brought everyone together closely. Yeah. Um, and then it's a good bunch of lads uh, in the dressing room. So uh, they're, they're a very honest group. So. Um, they know when they when they need to pull their finger out, and and they know when when they're doing good. So uh, yeah, I think I think a mixture of both. And it's a pretty special time to be a fullback these days. I know when I was growing up, obviously everyone wanted to be a striker, <laughs> they wanted to be an attacking midfielder. These days, everyone wants to be a fullback. It's seen as a sexy <laughs> position again. How does that kind of make you and you and Trips feel? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, good question. <laughs> nah, um, Look, I think as fullbacks you get to enjoy both parts of the game. Really, yeah. uh, I think that fullbacks changed so much over the years. Um, where you couldn't really get forward as much, and uh, you're not really classed as a, an attacker. But uh, nowadays, I think that the fullbacks, you, the uh, the role has changed so differently. Um, you see the lights of. Trent, Rhys James, uh, Robertson, the players like that, what, what they're doing, the numbers they produce from, from fullback is, is incredible. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, it's evolving and it's just in, uh, improving, yeah. And like sure. you say, we're seeing a lot of kind of relationships develop in that dressing room. I think Dan Byrne and Ryan Fraser is the, the prime example <laughs> of that, walking out alongside each other, which is tremendous to see. Have you kind of developed any, I think, what the kids call bromances these days or not? <laughs> Uh, to be fair, uh, I just get on with everyone. Um, so, yeah, there's no, there's no bromance. <laughs> <laughs> well, it carries on to the owners as well. I remember seeing towards the end of last season, Amanda kind of give you a hug, give you a kiss, and obviously say thanks for everything in the last six months or so. What sort of difference does that make when the owners are that close to the team and that connected to the team and to the city? Um, I just think it shows how much they care um, of the team, of the club, of the city. Um, they're, they're always there at the games. Um, after the games, they always come down and say, well done and that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible how, how much support they have for the team. Um, so, yeah, it, it's nice to see them around and, and that. And, uh, yeah, it's nice when they reward you. <laughs> <laughs> and like you said before, a big part of it's been the gaffer, obviously, Eddie Howe. Given everything we've discussed, the city, the fans, the club, everything about it, why is Eddie the perfect man to lead Newcastle forward after signing a new contract last week? I just think he, he understands the club, um, where we're at and where, where we want to go. Um, we we He's... Um, He's changed the uh, philosophy, um, so we got we want to make uh, s that Newcastle not a not an easy team to play against. Um, whereas in the past, I think uh, some teams found it easy. Mm. Um, I think that's fair to say. Um, so, yeah, we're 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 a difficult team to play against now for sure, and uh, I think that's all down to him how 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 we set up and and how hard we work. The expectations are pretty high now on this club. Where can you take Newcastle this season and in the seasons to come, do you believe? Um, I think if you look at the back end of last season, I think we've done unbelievably well. Um, so to finish 11th in the end, I think that was a su success yeah. for um, where, where we were. Um, but this season, we are have a full season. Um, I think progressing on last year, um, we get top 
top 10 that'll be that'll be a good good progress and uh, yeah I think uh, beyond that I think the more quality you add in the transfer windows I think it's only going to improve the team so yes but step by step um, that's what I've always said um, so yeah, little, little by little progression for sure. Step by step takes Newcastle into this weekend. Obviously, Brighton away. Given where Brighton were last season, you know, pretty close to Newcastle United in the table. Is this the first real test to see where Newcastle United are right now? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, every time you play by, uh, Brighton, it's, it's, it's a tough test, mm. um, especially since Graham Potter has gone in. Um, they they play unbelievable football and they they make it real hard for you. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a massive test this weekend. Um, but yeah, it'll be nice to see where we're at as a squad and as a team. Just a couple of quick final ones. We saw the the kind of the intensity has risen in pre-season and in that game against Nottingham Forest, the possession stats have risen as well. Are we likely to see that same sort of approach against Brighton this weekend, or does it have to be a little bit more tailored at the Amex? Um, Hopefully the same. Um, obviously, uh, I think Brighton are much better football inside than Forest. Mm -hmm. um, Forest are finding their feet, but uh, so it'll be it'll be a tougher test for sure. Um, but our identity is to try and uh, recreate that that game and be dominant on the ball and create loads of chances. That's that's how we want to be. Uh, this season, so I'm hoping for the same, but uh, the opposition's are better for sure. And just finally, Matty, what would make your first full season here at Newcastle United a memorable one? Do you think? Uh, just uh, Im improving on on what we done last season, um, and uh, hopefully give myself a chance in and around the England team. Um, I think that'll be. Uh, success story for me this season what are you going to have to do for that do you think uh, for me I, I need to add, add numbers to my game um, uh, keep keep trying to improve in uh, attack and third and obviously keep uh, try, try and be a good good defender and just helping the team and obviously the the better the team does the better you do as an individual so uh, yeah um, just just keep on uh, progressing hopefully